Good morning, Cedar Park. First this morning, Choir's annual fundraiser, Camp Rockstar, is opening the eyes of little performers and everything you need to know about the Hispanic Community Union Club. Ethan Hexter prepares us for spooky season with his first edition of Hexter's Halloween Horrors. Plus, the top three things and a new T-Wolf spotlight. Let's jump in because the Wolf cast starts now. Good morning, Cedar Park. I'm Abby Martinez, joined by Casey Johnson, filling in for Jack Polishik and Katie Bitmarsh. Do you know any little ones who like to sing and dance? Choir's Camp Rockstar might be the perfect opportunity for them. Our choir is hosting the camp on October 11th and 12th, and all grades K through 5 are welcome. The choir is working diligently to learn their music, but they're working even harder on their camp. Camp Rockstar will involve choir students teaching local children to sing and dance to spooky songs in the spirit of Halloween. Choir President Lucy Walter is especially excited to get back into the community. I think that my favorite part is probably going to be seeing the kids perform and like watching their parents' faces. Um, and I think I just can't wait to see the kids like perform for their parents and be like, Mom, look, look what I did. Tickets for Camp Rockstar are $45 for one day or $75 for both days. Go to cbhsquire.com for more information. Community is an important aspect of anyone's heritage. The Hispanic Community Union was started to honor those SCPHS who are still looking for their community. The club's goal is showing off our culture to the rest of the students as well as uh, make it, making a like kind of like a cushion, like something where Hispanic kids can lean on for for it not to be like that for the change not to be that harsh. The Hispanic Community Union meets in Miss Lee's room twelve oh six on Fridays during den. Make sure to stop by if you're interested in joining. With the start of October comes all things Halloween. Up next is the first edition of Hexter's Halloween Horrors, horror movie edition. Good morning, Cedar Park. There are 24 days until Halloween, and to celebrate, I, Ethan, will be watching and ranking 50 horror movies through the month of October here on the Wolfcast. This week, we'll look at movies released from 2015 to 1998. This era includes modern classics and Japanese horrors. So our first movie is The Visit. <laughs> and if I'm being honest, it's probably a B tier. Um, and remember, these rankings are based on purely how much I like the movie. All right, it's not based on how good they are. Going on, we have Good Night, Mommy. Honestly, I'm going to put this at an S tier. That might be controversial. I'm going to put it in an S tier. Then we have As Above, So Below. I hate this movie. I really hate this movie. It's going in an F tier. Now we have The Conjuring, and honestly, A tier. It's just a classic, what can I say? Um, then we have Sinister, and also, I really liked it. I'm gonna put it at an A tier as well. And of course, ending off our trio, we have Insidious, which I will also be putting at an A tier. Next we have Human Centipede. If I'm being honest, a B tier. Let's be honest here, let's be real. Next we have House of a Thousand Corpses. It's something. I'm going to put it at a D tier. Now we have The Grudge. It was nice, um, but you know what? I'm going to put it at a C tier. I'm sorry. Now we have Cairo. I really liked this one, actually. I'm going to put it at a B tier. Now we have Blair Witch Project. Jack bullied me for putting it at a C tier, so I'm going to put it at a B tier. And last but not least, we have The Ring, which I actually really liked, so I'm going to put it at an A tier. And that's all for this episode of Countdown to Halloween, Hexter's Horrors. Next episode, we'll be ranking movies released from 1996 to 1981. I'm super excited about Halloween. Um, I know one of the movies Ethan talks about is The Ring, and like the original version of the movie is really creepy, but it's a good movie. Yeah, I'm not really a horror movie person myself, but I think they're definitely, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I really like the Paranormal Activity series. Ooh. It slowly builds up and events get worse and worse and weird stuff goes on. And you, it's, they're cool because you have to figure out what's going to happen and you start to piece, piece things together. Yeah. And it's really interesting. Here in the studio, reporter Maddie Cooper has the top three things you need to know for today. Good morning, Cedar Park High School. I am Maddie Cooper, and here are your top three things you need to know today. 
First, the 2021 Austin Heart and Stroke Walk is coming up October 16th. This walk is intended to be both a charity event and support for the survivors of heart disablements. Starting at 8 a.m., this walk will help raise money to cure America's number one killer, cardiovascular disease, and is completely free to the public. Next, sightings of Brian Laundrie in North Carolina have been reported. Brian Laundrie has been on the run ever since his fiance was declared murdered. Authorities have been investigating these supposed sightings in North Carolina as well as Alabama, Canada, and Montana. However, none have been confirmed. Finally, Austin's Major League Soccer team has been playing fierce, leading them to the qualifiers happening tonight. Starting at 6.30 p.m., Austin FC will be playing Jamaica for a spot in the World Cup for the very first time. The pressure is building, however, their coach is determined to win. Expecting a full house, this will be a game to remember. Thanks, Maddie. Up ahead, we throw it over to Carver McDonald for your 2 of Spotlight, but first, these announcements. We are not just here to share announcements. We are here to tell stories. Your stories. Students depend on us, and what they need from us is to be hype, to be ready, to be informed, to be successful, to be Timberwolves. We are real news. We are sideline reporters, moment captures, question askers, life sharers, cheer spreaders, and voice givers. And above all, we are students just like you, here to help you. We are journalism, newspaper, yearbook, and broadcast. We are CPHS News. Hi, we're choir, and you're watching the Wolfcast. Hello, Sierra Park High School. My name is Colin McDonald, and I'm here with Raina Landry for your TV Spotlight. Hi, Raina. How are you doing today? Um, I'm pretty good. You know, uh, today we have um, our second meeting for the Black Student Union, so I'm really excited about that. Mm -hmm. yeah. What exactly is the Black Student Union? So the Black Student Union is basically a, uh, a club that really focuses on black culture and, you know, uh, black issues and also we have um, just um, discussions about like uh, black um, figures and how they mm -hmm. impact um, America, so. Why is the Black Student Union important to CPHS students? Uh, so it really is, is important because it really develops a sense of community among, you know, uh, um, African American students in Cedar Park High School. Um, I know it's very, from my experience, I know it's kind of um, hard to feel like you belong um, in a, a predominantly, you know, uh, white school. So I feel like that's why um, the Black Student Union is here. So. Why did he run the president? Uh, I ran for president because first uh, I love the Black Student Union and um, I had a lot of fun um, being in a club. I um, had other um, roles in the Black Student Union so I feel like I uh, really just wanted to um, change the club and also you know bring more members and you know, do a lot of fun activities. So. Cool. What are your responsibilities in as president? So my role is basically to um, promote diversity and also getting more members into the club and also creating um, events and um, activities for our members. What are you doing now and what are your future plans for the group? Um, so right now we are having our second meeting uh, for the club and basically we're kind of just um, introducing the Black Student Union. I know last year we had a really hard time getting members and um, also getting our club out 
to other people. So again, we're just introducing the club and for future plans right now, we are having um, some activities and we are having um, guest speakers coming in and they're going to uh, talk to us about their um, experience and their uh, p professions. So, and then um, we're going to probably have, you know, again, like fun activities and um, some field trips, we get to do things at the club together, so. What is your favorite part of the group? Uh, my favorite part about the Boxing Union is really get getting to know um, other members in the club. Uh, again, like last year, we, there wasn't um, enough time or like, yeah, enough time to get to know one another. So that's really my favorite part. And also, again, just like connecting um, to, to other members and also just uh, having activities together, uh, getting to know one another, so. That's all the questions I have for you today. Thank you, Raina. With CPS News, I'm Carl McDonald, and back to you guys. Thanks, Carver. That's all we have for today. Make sure you're keeping up with all of our content, so head over to our YouTube at CPHS News. You can also follow at CPHS underscore sports for updates during the games. Tune in tomorrow for a story on students and their sleeping habits, a new sports report, and a hype video. The return of Pet of the Week, and we will give you the best haunted houses to go to this Halloween season. Thanks for taking time to join us this morning. With CPHS News, I'm Katie Whitmarsh. I'm Kason Johnson. And I'm Abby Martinez. Remember to make it a great day, or not, the choice is yours.